What is up guys and dolls? My name is Leaky Tatsman aka Mr. Bendover, Phil McCracken and Huge Ass all rolled into one. I've got my fourth This Week in Gaming, so on the heels of last week where it was all about the Xbox 720 loop, whatever you want to call it. The next Xbox uh, this week has been not slow by comparison but it certainly wasn't as filled with rumours and news and everything in between like last week but it was still relatively good I guess. I'm gonna start with the news that I find mo most interesting and that is that a Jack and Daxter collection has been announced so one of these HD collections where they re-released the old PlayStation 2 games with updated graphics and trophy support so that'll be good to see. Jack and Daxter was a really good series I think. I'd only played the second one and part of the first so I'll probably pick this up. I reckon it would be um, fun to try. I'd like to see a Ratchet and Clank one maybe because I think those were probably the best games on PS2 in terms of platformers. So Insomniac get on it because they were pretty kick-ass games. But Jack and Daxter is still a really good bunch of games so keep an eye on that. Also, a new Hitman has been announced on top of the Hitman that they've already announced. So, Hitman Absolutions is coming out uh, sometime in 2012, I believe, and they've already announced the next one. So, I don't know what the hell Square Enix are doing, but if you want to go announcing Final Fantasy 22 right now, then go for it, because that's just insane, announcing the sequel to a game that isn't even out yet. That is quite absurd, but for any Hitman fans, then it's great news for you. I do like the series, but I won't call myself a fan per se, just someone who is interested. Okay, Microsoft got into a bit of bother because apparently millions of Xbox Live accounts have been hacked through phishing scams. So if you don't know, phishing scams is basically cool. uh, basically where you get an email which is someone disguising as someone else, normally company or in this case it was someone claiming to give away free Microsoft points to anyone that would like give you them your details so I've got to say that I don't really see how Microsoft is to blame on this one but they've been taken to hell and back through the media but frankly if you're stupid enough to give away your information online through an email claiming to give free stuff away then I'm not saying you deserve to lose your money but it's not like you don't deserve to sounds quite harsh but it is quite moronic to do that anyway enough about that Okay, the rumours for the next Xbox have slowed down quite a lot, but there was one more, which was apparently the new Xbox is going to launch with two SKUs, so two sales units. Basically, what the 360 did, they're going to do with this one apparently, so there's going to be a stripped, stripped down version, which apparently won't have like Kinect or, I don't know if they said a hard drive or just a very small hard drive. I'm really hoping they include a hard drive on both models because a lot of developers complained about it. They said that they had to uh, limit a lot of their games because hard drives weren't standard on 360 so I think Microsoft would be missing a trick if they did that again. Just make the hard drive like 120 gigs or something if you really want to be cheap sods about it. But memory is so cheap now that I can't see them doing anything under 500 gig. So yeah apparently two models of the next Xbox will be coming out at launch. Okay another company that have been in a, a bit of hot bother with the media mainly and this time it is Sony slash EA slash DICE. I don't know who's to blame here, but uh, basically PS3 gamers were promised to get Battlefield 1943 for free if they got it on the PS3. That was terrible to try and say that, but I got it first time. Anyway, they promised that game and then when people bought it on the PS3, they just casually didn't give anyone the game and they offered the downloadable content a week early to PS3 gamers as their kind of compensation for it. So as you can imagine PS3 gamers were peed off and they let their voices be heard, someone took them to court over it and now you're all getting your Battlefield 1943 so anyone that's got it on PS3 I don't know what the means are to actually get the game but I'm sure it can be found with a quick google search so you've got a free game basically. Battlefield 1943 is a really fun game actually so give it a try if you've got Battlefield 3. I don't know what the hell EA or Sony were thinking when they pulled the plug on that after promising it because it was never going to end well. Everyone gets found out in the end. Crime doesn't pay. On a slightly lighter note, uh, the Gears of War 3 DLC is out now which is a free pack 
giving you five maps and some new achievements. So good on you, Epic. It's about time you gave something back, seeing as you've been thieving little sods since Gears of War 3 has come out. But uh, it's always good to get free stuff. I've never complained about that. So any Gears of War 3 gamers, go pick it up now. I'm going to finish on a relatively big rumour and then not rumour. Metal Gear Solid 5 was supposedly announced and then a week, well a few days later it was unannounced. Basically they got a quote from Hideo Kojima that Metal Gear Solid 5 was going to be developed and then the internet blew up saying oh yeah it's it's well into development all this stuff and then it turned out that it's not even began planning stages so any Metal Gear Solid 5 which probably will eventually come out won't come out for several years so that's put that fire out. So sorry to disappoint any Metal Gear Solid fans, you're going to have to wait for Rising. Metal Gear Solid 5 I imagine will probably come out on the next gen consoles. Well, it should do if the development cycle is what they say it is. And that is pretty much everything that's gone on this week. A fair bit of news, not loads, but it wasn't like there was nothing to report so a fair amount. Just want to quickly plug the fact that I am going to do a new series soon. It's going to be a fictional one where I try my best to inject some humour into my videos because watching back at a lot of them I just sound so uh, dry and informative which I guess I wanted to an extent but I come across as so damn boring and I can be a funny guy when I want to be. So it's going to be a fictional series, they will probably be swearing although I might beep over it just to keep the kids happy but yeah it's going to basically be the tales of an absolute deranged lunatic who doesn't realise that his antics are just causing more harm than good. It's called Misadventures of a Tap. I have no idea when it's going to be done because I've only just started filming for it. I've not recorded or anything and it's a lot more work than my other projects. So uh, just watch this space because I'm having a lot of fun doing it and I look forward to releasing it. So thanks for all your continued support. Thanks for watching. I'm Leaky Tatsman, over and out.